Hi, this is Freya from Otherworldly, and today I have a mesh head review for you. It is a brand new mesh head from uh, Vista Animations, in fact. Uh, obviously, they've been doing mesh body parts before, since they were the first ones to put out bento hands, uh, both for uh, male and female avatars. But I had uh, no idea that they were planning to put out a mesh head until I saw some uh, reviews of it, some talk about it on Plurk yesterday. I believe it was actually um, Alaska Metro of uh, the Alaska Metro store who uh, who posted some pictures of it uh, because she had been trying it with her skins and thought that it was you know a great Omega alternative with uh, some uh, really good capabilities. Um, uh, I was a bit surprised at first to that a uh, mesh head sort of out of nowhere would quite be quite so full featured as she made it sound, but um, I decided to give it a try because, uh, well, it is um, for this weekend, sort of Black Friday weekend at 20% off as an introductory price. So uh, it's only at 2000 which is uh, an excellent price for a good mesh head. And um, I do like to have... Uh, a lot of variety in my mesh heads. Uh, I like to be able to create a lot of different looks so I decided to check it out and after a bit of demoing uh, I was quite hooked on it because I found that it was um, uh, very capable indeed. Uh, there are some small issues with it. Um, I have very particular ideas of what I want to be able to do with an avatar shape of the faces so uh, there is no one mesh head that manages it, all of it, but I think that uh, I was really surprised because I went through a range of shapes trying on it, shapes that weren't made for this mesh head, and uh, saw how the, the sliders responded, and uh, I was surprised both by the fact that the sliders responded quite a bit, and that things did not break down, because usually with mesh heads you get uh, either or there. Uh, for example, the um, look aheads I find rarely break down in that a slider will make things look really weird, uh, deforming uh, the head in any way. But on the other hand, the sliders don't always respond as much as you would like. Basically, they've restrained how they've, the way they've rigged the mesh, they've made sure that nothing can break but that also allows a little bit less variation on each mesh head. Uh, some of the others that I've tried, uh, like um, some catwa heads, um, I'm not really a fan of the catwa heads on the whole, um, and what I find difficult with them is that they respond quite a lot to the sliders, but on the other hand they break down really fast um, in some situations. Um, but uh, I think that's enough sort of initial babbling from me and I will start taking a bit of a look at what the Lia head as it's called can do and what the hood is like and um, we'll see if you like me think that it's uh, quite a nice versatile head. We'll start off with a look at the hood so this up here of course is the hood in minimized format and you open it up like this and you have uh, several tabs with this being the main tab uh, this tab here with the, the lipstick and eyelash and the lips gets you back to this being the makeup tab um, the uh, Leah uh, head comes preloaded with no less than three skins from three different creators uh, that's quite unheard of uh, these are just face skins of course so you will need to have the body appliers I have body appliers for your skin and your shape and for seven deadly skins I don't have them for Avenge uh, what I am wearing right now is seven deadly skins in the sand tone um, I will give you a bit of a look at how the other two skins look on the shape that I've made here just to give a sense of what the skins are like but uh, for now this is I've got the body matched up to this. You have an option here that you can set a certain amount of shimmer. I don't know that we will see too much in this lighting. Well yes there you can see that it's starting to get a little bit too glossy. But so you have that option to play with. Uh, then you have makeup. You have various eye makeups. Uh, we'll put one on here. 
let's see how much you can see from it's not very obvious from or did it actually not load onto it I think it did um, there we go as you can see it's a fairly subtle one you don't really see that much at this distance and then you have a, a clear button uh, I will also go in closer and, and show more of it later on um, you have lipsticks see I'm having, there there it goes I had had that one on before that's why I wasn't seeing the loading so you have a blend button like uh, Lilica does uh, so that you can make it stronger or you can blend it down and make it quite subtle you have a shimmer for the lip as well and a shimmer for the eye um, obviously yes I could have made the eye stronger by doing that and there you can see a bit more of a change from putting on the gold on the eyes um, there we go for something a bit more like that and strengthen it up so you have that to play around with as, as the base um, you have uh, three levels of lashes I'm wearing the middle right now I'll take off the lipstick and eye makeup actually and do a little zoom in here to give you a better look at the changes here actually um, so now I've got the lightest lashes on, a little thicker, and then waiting for the thicker lashes to load. There we go. Quite full. Um, gives a very different expression. I like the level of uh, the middle level here. You can take them off entirely as well if you prefer to wear some other lashes. Uh, you have hair bases in a couple of colors. You have brows. Uh, this skin comes with brows on, and there is no option without brows for the uh, Seven Deadly Skins. And the others here, the Your Skin and Your Shape and Avenge, these are with brows, and these are without. Um, so there you can use the built-in brows, and again you have a blend. You also have some tattoos, which I actually haven't looked at, so... Okay, we have freckles. And... More freckles. And some sort of tribal tattoos. Let's see what loads in here. Um, this is taking a little while on that one. Um, it's possible that some of the slots are actually ones you could fill out yourself. Well, I don't, I don't necessarily think so. On the, ah, I think it's a blush. Yes, it's a blush. Um, it's a little hard to tell sometimes when you when it's loading slowly when you've got your um, shadows and everything on so uh, these come with blend layers as well you have teeth options you have tongue color options um, I'm also wearing the eyes actually that come with the, um, the head so uh, there's coloring for those you can go through some variations maybe a green would actually be nice oh that's a lovely green uh, several controls for the eyes as well you have neck size options for fitting to bodies if that's necessary um, you have alpha for ears teeth and scalp so quite complete um, you have down here you have some save slots I'm guessing that you can save combinations here um, yeah it looks like that rather than um, let's see click and hold for menu okay yes that saves in what we've currently got on okay and um, then we have our AO here and I've been playing the neutral expression which um, I, I quite like I think it's not quite up there with the Lilitka expressions yet um, I find that some of the more open mouth ones um, don't look entirely natural to me like this one uh, I don't know if this has to do with the uh, the rigging of the uh, the lips and the teeth um, I'm not an expert on the rigging by any means uh, I know that there was some comments made um, I, I saw um, uh, Shidin Monroe of uh, Slink commenting on um, on Plurk some time ago that um, 
with mush, mesh heads, mush heads, with mesh heads, it's important not to rig um, so that the upper teeth are movable. I mean, they are attached to your to the rest of your skull. There is no hinge for your upper teeth. The lower teeth can move, but uh, you might be fooled into thinking that uh, when you know, when you're talking and such that your upper teeth move, but they never do. Um, and you can get some weirdness if that isn't rigged right. I don't really see any movements. I don't know if that is it, but it, it's difficult to make natural smiles. I mean, video games of all kinds have problems with this. So um, um, I tried out a couple of the others as well. I'll you know, try out some of the expressions. Um, at a quick look, some of them were a bit strong. Um, although that that's a pretty nice one. Um, that works nicely, I think. Obviously, a lot of them are more... I, I, they're exaggerated, and, and I might use them for a photo or something, but I find that what I have most used for are, are moods, uh, the more subtle moods. Um, the angry here also is... is well, so, some of them would, would work for photos and such, but I think that uh, for the most part, uh, uh, neutral is uh, enjoyable. Um, well, there I see I have a little tiny bit of a, a tooth problem there for a moment. Um, I'll get into that a little bit more when I um, show some of the sliders and so on. Yes, there it is again. I'll uh, try the happy mood as well. Uh, that's a good smile. Um, there's a nice E in that, and that's a good uh, opening of the mouth, I think. Um, this one I could definitely see myself uh, using for, for videos and such. And, um, here, let's see what we have here, and then we go over to sad. Sad and angry do have more exaggerations overall. Uh, some nice eyebrow moment. Maybe a little <laughs> constipated look here, I think. Um, back to neutral for now, I think. So we have options here as well for blinking. Uh, for responding to talking. Uh, you have some options just for controlling the mouth. Um, here obviously going up, down. You have uh, eye options. Closing them. I don't know if actually that works if I, when I'm playing the mood. Um, let's see. Yes, there I start sort of closing my eyes in a the eyelids go down in a sexy way like that. Um, you can link the eyes to make sure they look the same way uh, and controlling. I always have to have my eye poser on because uh, it's a nice way of making sure the eyes are straight ahead even if that's not always the most natural. So let's turn off these again and go back to the neutral mode. Or maybe I should actually should have that off if I'm going to be looking at the shape a bit more. So that is more or less it for the HUD, I think, except we have a button here as well for various um, options like re-delivery, reset, and uh, updates, and so on. That takes us through the HUD, and I'm just going to post myself a little bit to give you a closer look at the, um, the shape of the head. So we'll start from the side here and profile is always very important to me and I quite like this one it has maybe a bit of a tendency towards duck lip but not too much and I think that you can make the lips quite nice and thin even so um, the nose um, is is good it's not perfect uh, I would like it to be able to be a little bit stronger and there's a particular uh, aspect to how the upper bridge works that um, I don't know if it's possible, but I would have liked to see some tweaking there. And as I said, occasionally you will get a problem. I mean, this happens with a lot of um, uh, with a lot of heads that you do get problems with the teeth breaking through. Um, I didn't see it initially when I was testing a bunch of shapes. And then when I started fiddling with a specific shape for it, I uh, did have some issues. I do love these eyes, I have to say, by the way. They come out gorgeous. 
um, so I, I did have some issues with uh, breakage here when uh, I didn't lengthen the chin enough and I don't know if there's anything that can be done um, I see it less on the Lilitka heads than the Katwa heads for example and uh, this one I'm not seeing it as much as on the Katwa but more than on the Lilitka and I think more than the Light Star but the Light Star does not have separate teeth unless I'm misremembering so maybe that's part of it um, but it's a little bit of a, a problem that can happen when you have separate teeth um, right I think that I'll keep this pose because it's nice into the side and I will go in and give a look at the shape and its shape right so if we take my um, special area of interest the nose because I like strong noses uh, this one responded really well to most of the sliders I might have wished for it to respond a little bit more to the uh, downturn of the nose tip angle uh, as you can see it doesn't go that far it goes much further that way um, I could definitely see it going further in that direction and do that change um, bridge width was a one that really surprised me I'll have to show you that one actually because it was a really strong response uh, and that's a good one and most uh, noses aren't anywhere near that well rigged for a uh, bridge width it doesn't seem to be something people care greatly about so uh, it's often left out and I think that's a shame um, anyway back to um, the side profile and have a look at the upper bridge right now if I want to create a bit more of a hook here you tend to go with you, you can increase the lower bridge as well because it pushes the nose like that and as you see it responds nicely there not a problem at all and um, you can do this and get quite quite a lot of response but with this combination when I pushed them both to 100 I'm really surprised that there's only a tiny bit of breakage here by the way this is really good um, you really wouldn't see this area pushed straight out um, there needs to be a little bit of a dip here so that you get a bump and then the rest of the nose uh, the light star heads some of them are able to do that um, I think the Kate head from the Lutka does a little bit of it but it's a tricky one and not a lot of people rig for it like that obviously you want to be able to do different styles of heads and different styles of noses but I, I wish that there was a way I don't know if it's possible I wish people would pay attention to allowing this to not be pushed out at the same time as this area here because this should still be going in a little bit uh, the uh, sort of the the base of your nose um, right between your eyes does not get pushed out um, as far even if you're getting a bump on the nose so um, if somebody could do that you could have a much better proper hook nose or aquiline nose or roman nose um, and i would really appreciate that I think this uh, head has the potential of having that look but it could use some little tweaks there if possible without changing anything else of course so we'll undo those changes again uh, I mean as I tend to go for as you can see a bit of a, a stronger nose than your average but this I, I could definitely push this further to be really to my taste um, another area that this uh, head surprised me with was the fact that um, the eyes allowed um, a bit of a tilt. Uh, I know that there isn't really much you can do about the outer eye corner. Uh, it lifts the eyebrows, you can see. But this one had the inner eye corner done very nicely so that you could sort of create it like that and get a bit of a almond-shaped eye or something by tilting down the inner eye corner um, no distortion here I love it and then you get a bit of a slant to it which I think is really pretty on, on this shape um, 
undo those changes again though because I'm pretty happy with it as it is. And um, what else? Right, uh, this chin. I'll see about poking a little bit of that one as well. The issue was, like, if I reduce the depth here, you'll see breakthrough. And you might have to go quite far down. In some cases, depending on, for example, if I wanted to move the mouth downwards, I think it ended up... Um, yeah, it starts pushing. Obviously, that's too far. But basically, that pushes it through the chin again. So it seems like there's a bit... It's a little tight with space here for the teeth. So there are some combinations that immediately will cause breakage here. Uh, I have, of course, gone for a fairly um, pointed jaw. I was trying for sort of a heart-shaped look to the face. And um, that gives less space here to work with for, for the teeth, I guess. Um, but that is perhaps an area where one could improve it a little bit to make sure that there's less collision. Uh, on the other hand, if the um, trade-off is being able to do less, I'm not sure it's necessarily worth it. So it's um, it's a give and take with the mesh heads as always, but I, I, I was really surprised at um, how well this head responded to a lot of things. I think that... I might try and do some little tweakies here just to um, see how different head shapes work on it. Uh, we can squash the head a bit more, although you're seeing problems. Uh, but it does it very smoothly, as you can see. There is um, Everything stays, even if the head doesn't look all that normal necessarily, there is no breakage. Uh, in particular, round to square tends to break down sometimes and here it yeah it looks boxy and it looks wrong and here it looks very pointy elfin too much so um, but there is no breakage in the mesh and here with the chin um, there you can see if I push it that way you get teeth problems and this way here I would have to start moving the mouth not to have a, a tooth problem like that but it's pretty good um, the cheeks, again, you can do a lot with them, they're not really breaking into the eyes, plenty of movement, here, nice range, no breakage, and the cheekbones, they look a little funny when they come down, but at a sort of mid-level or higher, they're great. Back we go to my little heart shape again. Um, so I'm trying to think of if there's anything else I should show with this head, but uh, overall I'm, um, as I said, I'm impressed. Um, right, I think I'm gonna show you the other skins as well. Just go back like this, close the um, shape maker for now and go back to the hood so uh, I'll pick a mid-range here from your skin your shape um, actually I'll pick one without eyebrows so I can show you the eyebrows as well and there we go and I'll get red eyebrows since I am using a red hair and I think this looks quite pretty as well. It gives uh, a very different look to the eye. Uh, the eye looks a bit smaller. It's less defined. Uh, the nose shading works great as well. Um, lips work with this too. And then we'll go down and try the Avenge one, maybe in a paler tone. Still keeping the red brows. And here we have... Um, I'm not sure actually if I... No, I think uh, the freckling is with the skin. Well, there actually we have brows. Is it the is the no brow on this one instead? No, okay, this one is actually um, no freckle, freckle rather than brow options. Okay, so let's take off the brow. 
Well, there we go. Let's go back to the freckle then. It's a very different brow style, but uh, also quite a nice face, I think. So you have some really good starting options. Uh, I don't know how many stick with the starting options for a HUD, but you could definitely easily get a sense of uh, what the head can do, different styles from having the, um, the heads that are included and the faces that are included. But I'm going to go back to the one that matches my body and which sort of which I did the lip shape and everything because you usually have to tweak a little bit. And um, that I think is a pretty comprehensive look at this skin all considered. Um, sorry, this head. That's what happens when I try to do a video at 11.30 in the evening. But uh, I kind of really felt like I wanted to share this one. I was um, thrilled with it. So um, I'll finish off by mentioning a couple of other things, which is the fact that I am wearing this little tunic from uh, Sensafine. It's uh, for the ongoing round of uh, We Love Roleplay, so that one will end soon. Uh, and uh, it's available for uh, Matreya, I think it was Blaze Freya, and then Slink Hourglass, and I'm wearing the Hourglass body here. Because the Maitreya on the Slink Physique had some issues around this area, so it wasn't really great for a video. And uh, the head is, um, sorry, the hair, I'll keep doing this, I notice, is um, their latest release from Masabi Pills. Uh, it's called May, and it's an unrigged updo, which is quite cute, I think. And then finally, we have um, some new trees on the sim. This is by uh, The Little Branch, and they've just opened uh, a sim full of uh, trees and uh, landscaping. Very beautifully done, great for photos. And these trees are, as you can see, subtly animated, adding just a little bit of life to trees. And I'm hopefully going to be able to show you more of them. I was lucky enough to win some prizes in their inaugural hunt. So I have a few trees to show off uh, and um, decided to include this one here because it fit into this little um, stone circle that I have. Um, very pretty. Quite like it in this lighting actually. So that's uh, the other things. Of course the star of the video is the, uh, the Leah head from Vista Animations and I think the special price, um, I can't swear to that it will still be going when I actually get this video up because I have to process it and you know, get the post and everything, uh, but um, it'll still be a very affordable head given what you get with it and it is um, Omega compatible, I forgot to say that, so you'll be able to use all the Omega skins out there and uh, perhaps with a real top quality head like this using Omega, some more creators will consider just making their appliers into Omega when they make them. I know that most Lilithka appliers will do beautifully on an Omega head that is, isn't too far from um, the, uh, the SLUV. Uh, Catwa can be trickier, but I definitely think that those who make Lilithka appliers should consider just putting the same one into an Omega. Um, it certainly can't hurt sales. Um, that's it for me this time and there might be some more mesh heads um, soon because I've actually managed to persuade Van to get uh, a couple of mesh heads. Um, I don't know that I can persuade him to do a video review but I might be able to show some nice photos of his new mesh heads. He got the Lilithka and he got one of the Light Star and he got the logo one so he's well set up for some reviews now. Until then. <laughs>